For people who live here in Idlewild and the other communities affected by the Cranston fire, when they're expecting heavy rain, they now have that sense of anxiety about mud flow coming from the burn area. Well, today they had to deal with that firsthand. Heavy rain rolling off rooftops in Idlewild. A summer storm that brought flash floods, creating big problems in the Cranston fire burn area. When all of that rain came down this afternoon near Herky Creek, all of this mud flow from the Cranston fire burn area went straight across this road and headed for Highway 74. Caltrans captured the mud moving toward drivers below. They closed Highway 74 between Mountain Center and Lake Hemet for hours until crews could clean it all up. There was probably 100 cars behind us. John Clay was stuck at that road closure for a long time. He was with Boy Scout Troop 384 from Temecula, waiting for the danger to pass so they could make it to camp. And I uh, was finally safe enough to bring the boys up. And it's, you know, it's scary to think that, like, um, something like that could happen while we're here. Joseph McDonald says they pitch their tents on higher ground and they're watching the weather in case they need to pack up and leave at a moment's notice. They're just at the base of where the Cranston fire burned. Two weeks ago when we heard about the fires, um, we were going to think, we were thinking to change venues. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department took equipment up to homes near the burn scar to make sure no one was stuck in mud. And they'll be out here throughout the weekend for more wet weather. So locals here are also now preparing for the potential of thunderstorms on Saturday. Reporting in Idlewild, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.